Hello, today I'm going to explain how to run simulation using Kven 6 and the new analog design environment. First of, of all, we have to uh, start the design kit, type in the appropriate command. Um, the first step that we have to follow is to select the uh, cell view that uh, we are going to simulate. So we browse here. Um, we select. For simplicity, in this first sample, we are going to simulate one inverter. We have defined an input node and uh, an output node. Um, uh, input source that uh, correspond to um, the input stimulus. To make uh, more attractive the simulation, we are not to give values to the different parameters of the input stimulus. We will just um, use uh, global variables and we will specify their values after work, uh, during the simulation. So we have one variable for the DC voltage for the highest and the lowest voltage and um, for the uh, period of the system. We click OK and now we launch the analog design environment tool by clicking here. We are going to create a new view. Um, by default we will create an uh, analog design environment view. Um, the name uh, is the same that we have given previously to the schematic view. So we click OK. It's already one, so we'll overwrite it. And this is the uh, analog design environment for simulation. The first step now is to uh, define a test for the chip, so we click here to uh, define the test that we are going to perform. Um, if we want to give values uh, to the variables, uh, we uh, click here and automatically uh, the variables that we have defined previously will appear. So we can sorry, give values to them a millisecond for the period, zero for the DC voltage, um, five volts for the high voltage, and zero for the lowest voltage. So now we are going to define the kind of analysis that we are going to perform. First, we choose a transitory analysis, I set by default. Um, we set the stop time to one millisecond, and we are going also to perform a, in parallel a, a DC analysis. Click here. We save the DC operating point, and we are going to sweep one design variable. For instance, uh, we can sweep the DC voltage at the end. So, it's OK. And we can also define the minimum and the maximum value that uh, we want to use for the analysis. After this, click OK again. And finally, we have to specify the output that we want to save or plot. So, click here. Uh, we select on the schematic view the outputs on the for the voltage or the current that we want to plot. For instance, we can plot the input and the output point. We click Escape and we come back to the line. Now, if we want to save the uh, variables values, we can click here and. Um, after this, uh, uh, the simulation environment has been defined. So, clicking here, we come back again to the analog design environment tool. 
you can see that uh, the different analysis that we have defined here here and also the design variables so we want to simulate we select here the kind of analysis that we want to perform uh, by default uh, we are going to run a single room sweeps a corner analysis and we click here to start the simulation So here, in the bottom left, we can see when the simulation is finished. It has, been, it has finished already. So to plot the results, we click here. Um, we can see the output uh, voltages in both analysis. On the left, we see the transitory analysis, this is the input voltage and this is the output voltage. And on the right, uh, we see the DC analysis. We have uh, sweeped the, uh, the input voltage of the input um, and we have plot also the output voltage of the input. So that's all. I hope uh, you have uh, enjoyed the tutorial. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.